Hello students, welcome to Alan Overseas. In this video, we'll be learning how we can reduce few of the equations into quadratic form and then we can further solve. Like looking at them, we'll see that the questions are very difficult and we can't solve them. But using these methods of reducing them to quadratic will really help you to solve the problems. In our earlier videos also, we have solved few of the interesting questions like integral solutions and then special factorization. If you have missed those videos, then we are providing the links for those videos in the description. So just check them away. So now let's just start with the reducible to quadratic first type of question here. Like here, whenever you see expression like x minus a raised to 4 and x minus b raised to 4 equal to c and then we want to find the values of x. So let's see how we can solve this. So whenever you come across such kind of questions, very first put this x minus a and x minus b divided by 2 as t and convert this question from x to t. Like when you are putting x minus a plus x minus b by 2 equal to t, you are actually replacing your x by what a plus b divided by 2 plus t. So like suppose in future you come across a question like this x minus 2 raised to 4 plus x minus 6 raised to 4 equal to something suppose 1972 and you just want to solve this question. Then what do you do? Here you have 2, here you have 6. So you just put your x value as 2 plus 6 divided by 2 plus t. So wherever you have x, you just have to put what? 4 plus t. And suppose if you have a problem, if instead of this plus 2, if you have your, sorry, in place of minus 2, if you have your plus 2 and here plus 6, then what do you need to do really? In this case, you need to put x equal to minus 2 minus 6 divided by 2 plus t. It means here you will get x equal to minus 4 plus t. So these things you need to do while solving such questions. So what are the type of question? x minus a raised to 4 plus x minus b raised to 4 equal to some constant is there and you want to solve this equation to get the value of x. Then you can get the value of x by substituting t equal to what a plus b divided by 2 plus t. Let's see the example so that you can very well understand how to solve such kind of questions. The question here is x minus 2 raised to 4 plus x minus 6 raised to 4 equal to 82. So can you just imagine what will be our t? Yeah, definitely our t should be this 2 plus 6 divided by 2 plus So what should be our x value? You know, x should be replaced with what? 2 plus 6 divided by 2 plus t. So you get the x value as 4 plus so if you do so, then what happens? This x minus 2 raised to 4 will become what? 4 plus t minus 2 raised to 4. And this x minus 6 raised to 4 will become what? 4 plus t minus 6 raised to 4 equal to 82. Now just look, this 4 minus 2 is 2. So you are getting here t plus 2 raised to 4 in a first bracket. And can you just guess what you are getting in a second bracket? This is t and 4 minus 6 will be minus 2 raised to 4 and e is equal to 82. Now it's very interesting to note here that in first bracket you are getting t plus 2 while in a second bracket you are getting t minus 2 and we have their fourth power. As these two terms are like uh, very similar because there is just a sign change that plus to minus sign is getting changed. So we can just resolve them and solve them very easily. Like suppose if you just take an expansion of t plus 2 raised to 4 t plus 2 raised to 4 you will get what? You will get here t raised to 4 like using a binomial you can expand this t plus 2 raised to 4 that is the first term from this expression. You get t plus 2 raised to 4 as t raised to 4 then you get what 4c1 that is 4 into t raised to 3 and into 2 raised to 1. Then the second term you get 4c2 and 4c2 is uh, definitely 6 t raised to 2 and 2 square. And then you get again 4c3 that will be 4, then t into 2 cube and then you finally get the whole power of this 2 raised to 4, okay. So this is the expansion for t plus 2 raised to 4 which is the first term in our expression. So if I write th down this as equation 1, then its first term is something like this we are getting after the expanding using a binomial theorem. In a similar fashion, if you just take expansion for t minus 2 raised to 4, let us see what we get. So t minus 2 raised to 4 if you solve you will get first term as t raised to 4 plus 4 into but here you will not get plus because now you have minus sign 
So you'll get here minus t cube into 2, then you'll get again plus 6 t square, 2 square. You know what? Here using binomial, you get plus minus plus minus alternating. So here you are going to get minus 4 t 2 cube and then again plus 2 raised to 4. Actually, we have in this equation 1 sum of these two terms. So when you add these two terms, can you just imagine what will happen? If you just see here, if you add these two terms, then this term and this term are equal in magnitude but opposite in sign, so they will get cancelled. And what else will cancel? Yeah, definitely, this term will get cancelled because they are also equal but opposite in sign. Just here it is plus, here it is minus. So finally, what you are going to get? So you are going to get this sum as on the left side equal to how much? So you will get t raised to 4, t raised to 4, 2 times t raised to 4 you will get. And then this term already got cancelled. So this term also you will get twice, so that 2 I have taken already common. So 6 into 4, 24 t square you will get second term, 24 t square. And then what? This term again got cancelled. So finally 2 raised to 4, 2 raised to 4, that is 16 you will get. So 16 also will get twice, so I will write here 16. And e is equal to how much? Definitely this 82 you are getting. So if you divide by 2, you will get an uh, equation something like this, t raised to 4 plus 24 t square plus 16 equal to 41. So just take that 41 on the left side and after subtracting from 16, you will get t raised to 4 plus 24 t square minus 25 equal to 0. So this is the quadratic equation you got. Actually, this is not a quadratic equation. Here we have a fourth power, but we can convert that into quadratic. So let's see how we can convert it into quadratic. So that t raised to 4 plus 24 t square minus 25, I'll write on the next slide and let's see how we get its solution. t raised to 4 can be written as what? t square square. t square square. Then we have what? 24 t square and minus 25 equal to 0. Can you know how to factorize this in minus 25 so that its sum is 24 t square? Yeah, definitely. Yeah, that's very easy. 20 t square minus 1 is one factor we get and t square plus 25 will be the other factor you get. Now, as product of these two factors is 0, it means that one of the factors should be 0. So, definitely t square minus 1 should be 0 or t square plus 25 should be 0. So, you are getting here t square equal to 1 or you are getting here t square equal to minus 25. But this is not possible. This is not valid. Can you imagine why it is not valid? Because squares can never be negative of real numbers. So as t is real number and we want to find out real solutions. So definitely t square equal to minus 25 we cannot take if we want to find out real solutions. Well, so t square equal to 1 is the only solution we are getting and t square equal to 1 means t equal to either plus 1 or t equal to minus 1. But has the question asked us to calculate the value of t or x? Yes, definitely. Question asks us to calculate the value of x. And what is our x? x is 4 plus t. In, it means that t is x minus 4. So in place of t, I can write x minus 4 equal to 1 and or x minus 4 equal to minus 1. So from here, I'll get x equal to 5 or I'll get here x equal to 3. So these are the two solutions I am getting, x equal to 5 or x equal to 3. So look, this was the question, x minus 2 raised to 4 plus x minus 6 raised to 4 equal to 82. Looking at a 4 degree equation and if you just expand this and solve this, you will find that this is very difficult. But this method of really putting x equal to what, 2 plus 6 divided by 2 plus t and then solving in terms of t has made it simpler one. So whenever you come across such kind of questions like this, you just have to reduce them to quadratic. How we have reduced them? by putting into t and getting a 4 degree equation in t having this this is sometimes called as biquadratic equation which can be factorized and uh, converted into quadratic form like this very easily. So do remember these facts for solving such questions. Now there is another kind of question as well which we can convert to uh, quadratic form. So let's see what are those other kind of quadratic convertible questions. Like here if you just look m into a raised to f of x plus n into b raised to f of x plus r equal to 0. Here a raised to f of x and b raised to f of x are such that you will come to know that this product of a and b basis is 1. So as the product of a and b basis is 1, you can always use such type of method. Like what you have to do in such case, a raised to f of x you consider as t because 
product of a and b is 1 means b is 1 by a isn't it means a and b are reciprocals of each other so as soon as you put a raised to f of x as t then b raised to f of x you can assume 1 by t because a and b are reciprocals of each other now we'll better understand with the example so let's come and see the example based on this so look here the question is 5 plus 2 root 6 raised to x plus root of 5 minus 2 raised to 2 root 6 bracket raised to x is 10 then how should we get the value of x here can you really solve this if you think you can solve this then just pause the video and just give a try see here 5 plus 2 root 6 is a very special number because when you multiply this 5 plus 2 root 6 with 5 minus 2 root 6 you'll get what you'll get a plus b a minus b factor factorization formula you can use so you'll get a square minus b square that is 25 minus 2 root 6 square that is 24 so you are getting this one means you can consider this as a and this as b and you are getting a b equal to 1 so the condition which we are just learning is satisfied so product of these two numbers is 1 so what we can do we can assume one of this term as a and eventually other term will become b like suppose if i assume this 5 plus 2 root 6 inside the root and whole rest to x as suppose if i assume what t then you know what the second term root of 5 minus 2 root 6 rest to x will become 1 by t and eventually your equation becomes what t plus 1 by t equal to 10 so t plus 1 by t equal to 10 is your equation now just multiply this equation by t and let's see what you get so if you multiply this complete equation by t you'll get here t square plus 1 equal to 10t means you are getting t square minus 10t plus 1 equal to 0 we got a quadratic isn't it and just look at this question which is not quadratic which is having some uh, square root term then power is x so which was looking very difficult but now identifying that one of the term and other term are reciprocal of each other their product is one has really helped us and substituting one of the term as a and other term is becoming 1 by t and you are just getting a quadratic equation in t and we know how to solve the quadratic equations isn't it so if you can factorize this then that's okay if you can't factorize this then definitely we have a formula method and that formula method is what we will use t equal to solution of this quadratic equation t will be like minus b plus or minus root of b square minus 4ac divided by 2a that formula will use so here b is what this minus 10 so i'll get here plus 10 plus or minus root of b square means 10 square that will be 100 minus 4ac a here is 1 c here is also 1 if you just look here this is a this is b and this is c so c is also 1 so if i put a and c values and if i divide by 2 into 1 2 into a that is 2 i'll get so finally i'm getting what t equal to i'm getting here 10 by 2 phi plus or minus so if you just look here this is nothing but root of 96 and root of 96 is 2 root of 6 you get okay after dividing by 2 okay so this will be root of 96 and that when divided by 2 you you going to get plus or minus 2 root 6 so 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 you are getting so your t value is 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 but what was your t your t is something like this so now just see what the value of x we get because now we got the value of t so i'll come on the next slide so t how much we got t we got 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 but what was t the c t is this much that is 5 plus 2 root 6 and rest to x so that is actually x by 2 power so t is 5 plus 2 root 6 and inside the root with the x power so we are getting here 5 plus or minus 2 root 6 so if you just take a plus sign here you'll come to know that 5 plus 2 root 6 raised to x by 2 is equal to 5 plus 2 root 6 so this is the one case we are getting or you are getting 5 plus 2 root 6 raised to x by 2 is equal to 5 minus 2 root 6 isn't it so if i take minus sign i'll get something like this if you just look here the bases are very similar so power should match so x by 2 should be 1 means you are getting x equal to 2 as one solution but if you look here bases are different 
But you know what? This 5 plus 2 root 6 can be written as 5 minus 2 root 6 because they are reciprocal. But you have to take here minus power. Because they are reciprocal, we can do that. So definitely here now bases are matching. Now from here you can say that minus x by 2 is equal to 1 and eventually you get x equal to minus 2. So look, we got the values of x. So that was really good question, wherein the question was not at all looking like a quadratic equation, but identifying the terms and their product as one has really helped us. We have considered one term as t, other term as 1 by t, and that really helped us to get the solution, to convert them back into quadratic, and then solving a quadratic is easier for us. Well, now we have a homework question for you. The question is 5 plus 2 root 6 raised to x square minus 8 plus 5 minus 2 root 6 raised to x square minus 8 equal to 10. We need to find out the solutions for this question. So you have to try this question yourself. And don't forget to give your answers in comment box so that we can revert you back. Well, that's all here on the reducible to quadratic. We'll come up with new video wherein we'll again see how different kind of questions can be reduced to quadratic. So stay tuned with Alan Orsis for more such videos on JE. Thank you.